Does everybody remember the Master Spool project? And whatever happened to that? Hmm. This month, Filament of the Month Club members will be trying out Polymaker Polish Smooth Clear, the filament that prints like PLA but smooths with alcohol. Do you want to try out some fun new filaments but don't want to commit to a whole spool? It sounds like you need the 3D Printing Professor Filament of the Month Club. Each month you'll receive a generous coil of just a good stuff, enough to play with but not so much that you'll feel guilty later. Thanks 3D Printing Professor. Join the Filament of the Month Club today. I've got some, uh, what is this? Pet G, Burgundy Pet G from my fen friends at Fiber Lab. This is Fiberology and yes, it's Master Spool Filament, which I still am super excited about. But you know, the Master Spool, it seems like everybody was excited about it for a little while and then nothing really happened with it. I mean, it's still out there, but nobody's really made the change. It, it's not like everybody is doing Master Spool these days. So whatever happened to Master Spool? Well, part of the problem is uh, a spool of filament takes a long time to go through. So if you've got a Master Spool that you're working with, uh, chances are you're still working with it. And also chances are you're not doing Master Spool right. I know that I'm not. Uh, master spool is supposed to be that you take a, a spool and put it on the master spool and then use it as much as you want to. And then when you get to the end of it, you rewrap it with, with uh, cable ties or whatever. And then you put it back on your, uh, uh, put it back on your shelf just as a coil because you're going to be using the master spool for your next spool of filament. You're not supposed to have a master spool for every single spool of filament. You should be storing it as the loose coils. And is anybody besides Richard Horn actually doing it that way? I know I'm not. And part of the reason is uh, this, this spool is much better than the last one. The coil on it is much less loose. And to all the people in the comments section of my last video who said, oh, a loose, loose spool doesn't tie over itself. It's only when you get it like looped underneath. No, no, you can get a coil so loose that two or three loops loop over something and and kind of creates like this number in there where yes okay technically they're not but if they go far enough along that it acts like a knot i had to catch that old one a couple of times while it was trying to loop in on itself and uh yeah it, it loose coils can be a bad thing but they're actually not that big a deal and and honestly as long as you just keeping an ear out for that little pop that tells you that you got a problem, roll it out just a little bit and then re-roll it back on there. It fixes the problem. So is Master Spool dead? Are, are we done trying to, to change the world by getting rid of plastic waste and, and putting all of our coils on, on loose coils? Well, I don't think so. It's, it's a slow process and sometimes it's, it's hard to change a manufacturing process that people have been using for a long time. I, I, I fear that we may have coils, uh, spools for a long time, but I'm still rooting for it. And whenever somebody offers and contacts me and says, hey, do you need some filament? I say, yeah, do you use and do you have the master spool? And that number of people who have that is growing just a little bit at a time. If, if you want to try out fiberology and see their filament, they're putting it on the master spool and I think that that is a great thing. So go support them so that more people will do it. Anyways, you know, just like with all things in 3D printing, it's not dead. It just give it a little bit of time and I, I really hope that the master spool takes off in the near future. Well, I'm gonna load this thing up and, and print, do some prints with it because this looks like a really cool color, but thank you very much for hanging out with me for a second. Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Make In channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too.
Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there. <laughs>